hello friends how are you hope you are all fine and doing very well so today we are going to make a website that looks something like this we have a great header here with a png file of like logo you can say that here is our logo here is our navigation bar and this is a banner and you can see the banner is uh, there is a parallax effect that the banner remains uh, on its own uh, place and the content is moving so how it is looking you can uh, comment it down and you can see this uh, pills like buttons and uh, text with some good uh, justifying uh, alignment and you can also see that the image once I hover on it you can see how it is changing so yeah that's good another thing that uh, here is our services section and you once you hover on it it changes color and uh, these are all boxes that we create here with div and we will create it in with uh, with div also so um, I will uh, tell you uh, each and everything the next part is contact us bill and you can see nice input box here you can write your email address here and click on the submit button and uh, here is in last our footer I know that this footer is not that uh, looks beautiful but it is just for beginners so this is a very beginner project and I know it I, I won't make it responsive because I in, in, in now uh, in these CSS series I didn't create any tutorial on uh, media queries so once we cover media queries we will convert this this site also to you can say that we will convert this site into a responsive one and it will look great when we make it responsive and you can see this is coffee beans we created a website name as coffee beans actually we can say it as a company or like uh, starbucks and uh, here is the address i know this address is totally wrong i just wrote it um, as a dummy address but this phone number is cor correct you can contact me on this number if you want to and uh, this is also my whatsapp number and one more thing this is my personal number and one more thing that uh, here is our copyright symbol this is actually a known as html entity and we will create it uh, by using html entity then this is our uh, years by Starbucks all is a right there so we will uh, every, created everything now you can see the uh, colors of the sections that it is a little darker than this one and it is also a little darker so it will making a nice impact look great once you hover on the button you can see this and this looking good and one more thing that you can see that this is a background and this background has a gloss effect on it and you can see that that this gloss effect is uh, looking good and with a blurry effect and uh, this coffee beans is actually more darker uh, gloss effect more dense you can say that effect on it and uh, I just uh, downloaded these images from the internet and I don't have any copyrights of it so if it have any copyright so please uh, don't worry and one more thing that uh, if you want to create this kind of website uh, we will cover everything about how we can create this website so first of all I'm gonna minimize this and uh, this is actually the folder settings so first of all I'm going to uh, take these images from here first of all I'm going to copy this here and uh, on the desktop I'm going to make a folder here so I can also use shortcuts but I'm not using here shortcuts you can also use Control shift n to make a new folder in Windows now I'm going to use CSS website okay I'm going to open it and make it maximum on maximum width of my windows now I'm going to make another folder known as images or you can say IMG and that's enough now I'm going to paste this image here say so it's actually my BG of my banner I think so and you can view it as on large icons 
so you can see it is fine okay the next is I think so that uh, the edited ones and I'm going to copy this edited folder from here and uh, paste it here and in this edited folder there's a image of this logo also and there's an image of this about and one more thing that um, I'm going to control X it from here I'm actually just setting it out from here to here and uh, then I'm just going to delete this folder out. so f this is my simple you can say st structure that I have just uh, uh, images folder and we will work on the structure also but for now it's a very beginner and very small project so we just created simple files and folders here we cannot we do not create nested folders too much so it will make trouble for you for now but we will create it in uh, coming coming up videos and one more thing that this is my simple structure as you can see this is a folder uh, css website is a folder and in, inside this folder i have the images folder and inside images folder i have uh, some images i have just three images there is a logo image there is about section image and there is a background banner image and uh, you can also download it from internet i just downloaded it from internet and uh, if you uh, want these images commented down i will provide you a link so you can download it from there okay so now i am going to open it this uh, whole folder the css website folder with vs code if you don't know about vs code actually it's a code editor or you can say it's a environment it's a d uh, developer environment so uh, development environment so here's developers uh, actually can edit code can, uh, can easily edit their code and debug their code and it actually it's a very it gives very powerful features for you for debugging pur debugging purpose and many more so many more it will provide many more features in it and uh, it's very i think so it's very good its color scheme is very good and uh, i actually personally like this one so if you don't like this one or if you're comfortable with sublime or atom you can also use those one and uh, here is uh, so here is my uh, vs code and uh, it's an editor you can download it from internet and also i will provide you a link on the i if you click on the i button so um, uh, the link is uh, of how you can in download and install vs code in your pc so it's very uh, lightweight editor i'm just going to make a file of index.html you can name it whatever you want i'm just uh, writing a random name or most common name here so I created two files with the first one first one in the name of index.html and second one is tile.css so the next thing that I can do is I'm going to close this folder from here and open this folder and open the file so this is my file actually and we are going to convert this file this file into this one so we will make it it's very simple very easy project don't worry if you don't know anything about it we will create it so i created just a simple control b yeah actually how i created this it's very simple i just uh, use this uh, amet extension here this provides in vs code only you can also download this extension in sublime also but i prefer this in using it in vs code so vs code is a small uh, short form for real studio code now if you don't know amet i will create a video on amet if you want so uh, so the first thing that if you want a boilerplate for your html instead of writing that uh, like this HTML now it's not a good way of writing you can just write HTML and go to 5 here so it will create a boilerplate for HTML5 or you can simply just write this symbol this is known as explanation mark and once you write it and press enter it will create a very nice structure of your HTML5 and there are meta tags that you that should be in your website so it will make it responsive and give you a push opportunity to use uh, those symbols that are not available on your keyboard or much more so 
let me name it as coffee beans so this is our uh, title of our website and title also come here if you refresh this is the title coffee beans okay first of all I'm in the board body and I'm going to make a header header is the tag it, it just have a semantic meaning that uh, that is the top and gives you that tells you the browser that um, what this website is about so uh, actually it is the introductory part so we just wrote here coffee beans so it tells the browser this is a website for coffee related to coffee works so okay now I'm going to remove this folder from here and now inside the header I'm going to create a div and I will tell you why I'm creating a div because I'm going to use flexbox and I am here I'm using totally flexbox because I uh, taught you about flexbox in the previous videos so if you don't uh, know about flexbox you can check the playlist of my CSS so uh, by watching this tutorial there are not too much explanation on each or everything so this tutorial will become too much longer and very lengthy so uh, you can access the playlist of CSS so you can actually learn too much or so much about these things okay so uh, I am going to create a div here and inside a div I'm going to create a heading heading you can say h1 heading so it's a very great heading of our website and I'm going to give a class of you can say heading of my web okay now I'm going to name it as coffee beans once you refresh you can see this is coffee beans but it no, it is not looking like this and this is a different font family so we will cover how we can create this impact now the next thing that I'm going to is to set the image here and um, image is in the source for uh, I'm going to give a source here that is here inside a logo and once you refresh it here it looks something like this now I'm going to set its width from here to 50 only so it will convert it into 60 pixel now here I'm going to give a class okay and um, let me set some rules here first of all so I'm going to set some rules here like I'm going to set a margin it's the universal selector I know this static symbol is a universal, universal, universal selector and it will select each and every element and set these properties to apply those and apply these properties to all of the elements that are coming in your web page so actually this margin zero will apply on each and every tag and then padding also to zero and box sizing to border box so the box sizing property actually works like if you change the padding or margin of any of your uh, element so its width will not affect it mm, because if you don't use box sizing the width will affect the width will become uh, lengthy or change its width, in, uh, width it will impact your responsiveness in your website but now we are uh, not looking for responsiveness but we will we should use these three lines in our website so this is the very very first step and once you refresh here nothing is happening because we have to link this file here so I'm going to link it here and once you refresh it again now you can see all the margin padding the body file that the browser is giving is removed okay now I'm going to make some classes here like d dash flex and set it to display flex and then dot justify dash content dash sorry center and set it to justify content to center so why I'm using these classes and making these classes actually once uh, I created these uh, classes of my flexbox and uh, whenever I want to use this uh, and when, whenever I want to apply the uh, display flex here I just put a class and write the dash flex so it will apply display flex I don't have to write CSS so much of for each and every element to write display flex so it will make our code much shorter and it will apply the dry principle that don't repeat yourself 
like we give an example in programming on loops. So we are here using C, uh, classes for this purpose, and then dot align dash items dash center, and then I'm going to not align self. Sorry, align align items set it to center and then just I'm going to copy it from here write it two more times and align start and set it to flex start and uh, end set it to flex end now if you don't know about these properties what will uh, this these properties will work actually these properties is uh, flexbox properties and if you don't know about flexbox you can watch the tutorial of flexbox that i just created uh, previously on my videos in css series so actually this video this whole video this whole project is a part of this this series so you have to watch all the videos that are coming before of it so I'm just copying it from here to like say that around and between and uh, I think so evenly set to center and then here space around space not around between space evenly so I just created these classes here and uh, <coughs> sorry for coughing <coughs> so actually I created these classes and whenever I want to use uh, whenever I want to set the uh, flex properties I just you, you can say I just use the class here like if I now if I refresh it again here nothing is changed because I have to use the classes so I want to make it display dash flex and once I refresh it now you can see it is in center now okay now one more thing that I want to give is padding here okay and I want to set uh, I want to actually change the heading style so I'm going to copy this heading style from here Actually, I should start it from here and um, command here like heading website style. So I'm using the comments here also. So it will make your code much easier to understand if you uh, reopen your code after one or two days. So you remembered everything that oh I read this comment that it is for heading styles. So it will make it much easier to understand your code. So now I'm going to uh, write this class here. This is heading web, and I think so. This is in header also. So it is in header of my heading web. So it is. It will make it more specific. Now I want to give it a padding here. I'm going to give a padding of 20 pixel. I think so is enough. And once I refresh, okay, I actually don't want to want this thing that is looking not good. Actually, why it is stretching itself? Okay, we will cover it while it's stretching. Actually, we have to align it here. Align items to center. Align dash items because once you apply the display flex it will by default stretch each and every item align items to center and once you refresh okay now it's good good to go okay now here i have to give a padding and then i have to give a font family and the font family is s o s e g e o no g o e i think so I don't know how can I pronounce it. So if you know how to pronounce it, you can tell me. Okay, script and once I refresh, now this is the font that we just use in this website. 
and if you are getting clone of any website and you don't know how to uh, know the font of it you can actually by clicking right click on the element and click on the inspect tab once you click on the inspect tab uh, something opens uh, in your browser like this and uh, you can uh, just drag and draw from here to check the styles what are the styles we are using here so we are using text center and if I change it here nothing is changed because flex applied so we don't have to use text center and uh, if I change the font family it looks like something this I don't want this I want it something looks like this if I change its padding it looks like something this so I have to give the padding also so that's uh, I know the code here so I can apply the code okay now one more thing is I'm going to make another class of backgrounds and I'm going to set a background like dot um, bg dash light light dark so I created this one so it will I'm going to set its uh, background color to e4 e4 and this is my background color once I refresh nothing is changed so that's not a problem we have to give it also here dash I think so light dark and once I refresh you can see this is the same the color that we have here or maybe this is not the same color but uh, actually this is the same color okay now one more thing that we want to do is um, you can say we set everything but it is not in center like this one how can we do this it's very simple that's why i created a lot of classes here and you can say you can see here i am giving it a space and the space is actually a separator or you can say that if you uh, just press a space now you can uh, write another class so this is the way of writing different multiple classes on one element so it will this class is applied uh, on one is this element of div element you can say and then this class is applying then this class is applying so you can write multiple uh, classes and the uh, order of these classes is no uh, not um, there is uh, you can say no need to set uh, its order you can also actually um, it's not important um, by order wise you can change it to like here to you can set it to here also it won't affect it will remain same okay the next thing that i can do i can just put a justify content here justify dash content dash center so it will center itself like this and now our header is actually completed and it's actually looking totally like this one okay and here is a very little bit change that once i click on it this moves a little bit uh, here actually what is happening here is a scroll bar and here we don't have any scroll bar but once it have a scroll bar also so it will look like this website so our header section is totally completed but the navigation system is not completed yet so we have to complete the navigation system and you know the navigation system is uh, uh, usually if we prefer or developer prefers to uh, write this nav tag inside the header so nav tag is used for navigation and you can see that I'm giving you my personal tips here so it will make you much easier to understand so first of all in the nav I'm going to give a logo class here and inside the logo class I'm going to set the image and the same image that here I'm going to copy it and paste it here so I don't have to write here it's my logo and uh, you can say it's my header logo 
okay so art is for alternative text and uh, if you don't know about it you can check my html series so you can understand what is used for it, what is the use of it actually i can give you an example if i misplace it like this and uh, if i refresh it now you can see this is looking header logo here so it is telling that this is our header logo and uh, this is used so uh, when our image is not loaded in the server so we it, the this text will load uh, if i don't give this text so it will won't uh, give a semantic meaning to this image and it looks like something this and it's not good looking good so uh, for this purpose we give alternative text alt is for just alternative text so we are not actually covering here only CSS. I'm actually telling you that uh, about uh, markup also. So I hope you enjoy this. You are enjoying this tutorial. And you are. Uh, you can say that this is a valuable content if you really want to appreciate me. Okay, now I'm going to create some links here like home and services, products, and recipes. I think so home services products and recipes so we will create these ones mm, okay i'm going to cut it from here services and uh, you can say the next one is products these are follow along tutorials you can also follow me open this uh, video and you can just uh, write it recipes okay uh, and you can just write it by just watching this tutorial and write it on your website but i don't prefer it in this way you have to learn you should learn actually now it looks like something this and uh, now i'm going to actually i'm going to set it so how i can set it so first of all uh, here is my simple in ul and uh, i am going to give it's a class here you know class is very important now first thing that i can do is i am going to it set it to display flex and once i refresh it will come in looks like this okay that's great and uh, then i want to give it a uh, then i can style it in css also Okay, I'm just copying it from here, this UL, and uh, I can say navigation styles, and then paste it here. This is inside, this tag is inside nav UL, this UL is inside nav. So if there are other ULs outside of nav, so it won't so this selector won't select other ul's it will only select the ul that is coming inside the nav so that's why i'm using this and if you don't know why i'm how you are i can use this one you can also check my css combinator video so you can understand it easily now this is my nav ul and i'm going to set it to list style to none and once i refresh you uh, once i refresh you can see the dots will want to be appear here anymore so uh, once I refresh, the doors are gone. Now the next thing is that I can set is uh, padding to its right. To padding, if I want to give a padding to right, I can say padding right. To you can say that 40 pixels is maybe enough. Okay, it won't. It's not applying here. Padding right. Wow, it is not applying. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Actually, it is on UL and I have to give on it on Ally also. So I'm going to set my nav UL Ally. So it will select those allies that are coming in the UL and it will select those ULs that are coming inside the nav. So this is a way of writing selectors or combinators. So I'm going to give a padding from top and bottom to 15 pixel set it to zero it will give a padding from top and bottom also now I want the space between these also so how can I set a space here 
if you don't know how ca you can create a navigation bar you can check my video on navigation bar where uh, I review vertical navigation and horizontal navigation fixed navigation at all at uh, everything each and everything in on on that previous video so you can watch that video so this is my nav ul lia so actually it will select these a anchor links only or it won't select any anchor links that are coming outside of it so that's why i'm using it in this way so now i'm going to select its stack decoration to none and once i refresh you can see the line will not be appear here anymore and that's why that's why we're using it here now i'm going to set it to padding of 15 pixel so it will give 15 pixel of padding and it will look something like this it is looking ni very nice and good but it is not in the same line that here it is so how can i fix this problem it's really very simple you can fix it in just seconds so this is my nav and inside the nav i have two uh, containers the first container is a low container and the second container is a list item containers and if i give a class of n inside a nav here of display flex so it will center it so it will come it in line one line so this is the way of writing those things and you can see it's very looking easy to understand now i can say that if i want to move it this one from here and align it this one to here i can say that i want to make it something like this i don't want to the navigation items also here i want this logo here and the navigation items here so how can i fix this problem i can fix this problem by just putting justify dash content dash between and once i refresh here now you can see it is here and this one is here and it's looking pretty awesome yeah it's actually looking very nice very attractive but there is one more thing that you can set is a nav background color brown you can say a brown color I'm just copying it from here and inside my background I'm just putting it here and set it to background color to brown and once I refresh it here you can see this is looking something like this and one more thing that you can see is this image is totally uh, uh, on the top of the container and it, sh it is not in center like this one so how can we fix this and one more thing it's very dark brown so what is the real uh, value so let me first of all think how I can set this problem mm -hmm. okay I can set the RGB colors here of 182 and then 60% of green and 60% of blue so it looks great another thing that uh, I am going to set my anchor link color to white you can use simple you can write simple white or you can write FFF okay now what can i do next actually you should start thinking what is uh, it is looking and how can i make this site looks like this site so what property what code should i give it to make this site so you have to think it in your mind and then just write it in your pc or you can use copy pencil to write the algorithm but it's not that complex that you have to write on a you can say that that you have to write on copy pencil you have to use copy but if you really want to use copy you can use 
it's totally up to you but in small projects i don't prefer using a copy pencil you should you you should think in your just mind and you can create layouts in your mind and then just uh, you can apply those values or properties on that website that you are building so i hope this is actually totally understood by you and then the next thing that if i want to center it i have to give align items to center and once i refresh now this image is in center totally and it's look good but here you can see it is very close to the container it's, you can see it's very uh, the margin left there is no margin left of this Im of this image of or of this container like the, it have so uh, here is a margin of 40 pixels that we gave in our style sheet of uh, here is now ul the padding right is 40 pixel so this compl complete uh, list items are coming inside a ul and i said that the padding right is this is the padding right is 40 pixel so i have to give a 40 pixel from here so it will look like this so what should i do for this purpose it's very simple you have to select your logo class sorry for my rough voice but <laughs> it's okay it's fine inside the logo i'm just going to set i'm padding left I'm not padding left sorry margin left margin left to 40 pixel and once you refresh now you can see it's our navigation system is also completed but here is a different font family here is a hover state also so we can also create the hover state and the uh, you can say that uh, we are also going to change its font family also so for changing its font family or uh, I think so I uh, should use font family this font family to own each and every element except the particular elements that I want to change the font family so how can I fix this it's very simple if you want to apply the property on each and every element it's except the specified elements that uh, I just uses another font family here so it will uh, this uh, element will remain with this or will work with this font family and other will work with the font family that I'm gonna give here so I'm going to give a font family here to this one and once I refresh now you can see the heading uh, or the navigation items is totally looking like this okay it's looking good and very fantastic for now but here is no hover effect on it like here how can i do this it's really very easy and simple and you can also do it and um, for the hover state okay the, where is my this is my navigation styles and inside a navigation style I'm going to select a nav ul li a and then what on the hover state on the hover state I want to change the colors of it I want to set its background color to a little bit darker so I'm going again I'm going to give RGB colors and I want to change these colors a little bit darker so I can say that 134 and then 35 and then again 35 and once you refresh now you can see the hover effect is coming and it's purely perfectly looking like this so this is very good and if you don't know how i'm giving these colors actually i just created it by myself so if you want to change its color pattern you can set it from here adjust the colors you very what you want and it's totally up to you okay now our header and our navigation system is completed 
and the next thing that I want to use is this banner image how can I make this banner effect in my website so first of all I'm going outside of my header here because my header section is completed now for this purpose I'm going to give a class not, a, not this one I'm going to give a class of hero image you can state as hero image okay uh, this banner image is known as hero image and here inside the hero image I'm going to set it to hero text so it's the text of hero image and this text is like like this this text is known as hero text and this image is known as hero image so I think so that's enough inside this one I'm going to give a heading one with some styles like say a style class with font size I want to set it to 50 pixel now I want to write some code like welcome to coffee beans island and one more thing that a button here and the button with a class of um, nothing fill for now if I want to style it I can give it a class but I can select it by CSS uh, combinators so if I refresh it looks something like this I know it's not looking right now for this but we will make it to look like this so first of all I'm going to set it background image that is known as hero image so I'm going to declare some style for my banner image okay now if I want to set it mm, hover state or hover image how can I do this it's very easy and simple first of all you have to write the dot control B not I think so okay it's hero image so I'm going to select this class from here paste it here and inside this class I'm going to uh, set it's a background image not background color I'm going to set a background image or you can set uh, just background here now I'm going to set a URL here and inside a URL I'm going to give its source of the image so this is the bg2 and once I refresh it looks like something this but I don't want I want the image lengthy so I have to give it a height also so I'm giving it a height of let's suppose 600 pixel is enough and it looks like something this but it is repeating itself and it have so much glitches for now so how can I fix this problem yeah I think so it's easy I can see fix this fix this problem by uh, putting the background repeat to no repeat no repeat actually repeat is by default and I'm putting it no repeat so it will look like something this now the next thing that I can set is background size background size to cover so it will cover like this and I think so we are very close but it is not looking like the, that one that we want to create because I have to give it a position background position also and then center center so it will center itself horizontally and vertically so now this image is looking perfectly fine now the next thing that I can set is if I want to target this hero text and if I want to center it I can select I can use display flex here and once I refresh it's nothing is changed and it's totally fine I sh think nothing will be changed but that uh, now I can apply the display flex properties like justify content to center and align items to center and once I refresh it will center itself and it looks like this 
now the next and last thing that I can set is text dash center I know I know this class is not defined here on CSS file so I'm gonna define it from here copy it from here and uh, dot control V T A and uh, set it to center and once I refresh now this button is in center okay now the next thing is that I can do is I'm going to select the hero text and uh, I'm going to change its color and change its color to white and once I refresh now you can see the color is in white but there is no uh, transparent or you can say a gloss effect background so how can I make a transparent or gloss effect based background it's you can say it's very easy and you will create it in just a second so first of all this is my hero text and I want to set it uh, on, uh, I want to set this again hero text h1 so I'm just selecting the h1 I'm not selecting the whole container I'm just selecting the h1 so that is th th that h1 that is coming inside the hero text so it won't select this h1 it will select only the h1 that is coming inside the hero text and this is the hero text that i gave here so it is a class and it's a selector or it's a, an, an element here now i want to set it's a background color and i want to set it to white and once i refresh this looks like something this one and I'm going to change its opacity and uh, you can see that I'm changing its opacity you can uh, use whatever you want but I'm just using it like this and once I refresh now you can see a very light glossy effect here and it's perfectly fine for now now the next thing that I can do is I can put a padding here padding from top and bottom to set it to zero and if you are setting a padding of zero so you don't have to give any unit you can just putting a zero and the, uh, you can also use the uh, unit also but uh, it, the CSS gave us an opportunity that if you use zero uh, for length expression you don't have to use the units for defining your length to zero so zero means that you should don't use that you should not use the units here so zero is fin enough you don't have to use zero pixel or zero em or rem or what are these we will cover in uh, coming coming up videos about uh, typography so for, uh, for now we set the padding zero from top and bottom and then uh, from left and right i'm going to set the padding to 10 pixel once i refresh now here is the padding from 10 pixel and here is the padding from 10 pixel also now the next thing that i can do i'm going to uh, change its uh, backdrop you can say backdrop filter or whatever i don't know backdrop yeah backdrop filter and use the blur property in it and uh, set it to 10 pixel maybe is enough or you can say the 5 pixel is enough once I refresh now you can see the glossy effect is on but uh, as, as you can see here this coffee beans have another um, gloss and its gloss is uh, something dense than here and one more thing that you can see that this coffee color beans is different color have a different color and have a different font family so uh, now i know knew that i have to change the font family of the coffee beans so if i uh, if i uh, say that this is coffee beans inside the h1 and i'm going to set the h1 font family 
and I'm going to change its font family to something else like that before that we gave that uh, is I think so what was that I can copy it from here actually I don't have to cop mm, write it every time so and if I refresh now the whole is uh, the whole title is changed I, I, I just want this coffee beans font family to be changed so for this purpose I'm going to use an inline uh, you can say inline element that is a span so span is a tag I'm just going to copy this coffee beans from here and gonna paste it here now for now nothing is changed but if I select the dot hero text h1 span and if I just copy all of these and paste it here okay I have to copy it or you can just not copy you can drag it here also go and remove this one and remove it from here also and once you refresh now you can see this effect is on and the more it is look like nice effect it's also I have a nice effect now one more thing that you can do is set its color <laughs> and change its color to brown maybe and once you refresh it looks like this actually it looks like this but here is something different here is uh, this is looking something weird how can I fix this problem it's very simple and uh, what else I can do to make it more nice effect I think so it's fine it's not looking that bad that I was thinking mm -hmm. if I change its padding to 10 pixel not padding the background yeah it's it's good it's looking nice okay now that's great and now here is uh, uh, nothing there is a margin you can see between this button and this heading and once you hover on this button it's changed and the button is totally different so how can we make this button and convert it into the button that I show you here so it's very simple this is my heading I have to give a margin bottom here first of all and margin bottom I'm going to set the margin bottom here to you can say that 20 pixel is enough and once I refresh now there is a diff uh, here is a space breathing space you can say that between your button and between your heading or you can say the title now the next thing that I can set is hero text h1 span okay it's perfectly fine hero text button so now I'm going to change my dot hero text button and I'm going to change this button properties like border to one pixel solid brown and uh, color to white and once you refresh it looks like this I am going to set it background color to transparent so its background color will be removed and one more thing is padding padding 10 and 30 pixel so it will give 10 pixels from top and bottom and 30 pixels from left and right that looks like this 
and uh, pointer not I think so cursor to pointer yeah because you can see if I hover on it the pointer remains the same it not it is not changing its state but if I refresh it now and if I hover on it now you can see it is changing actually it is showing that here is a link so it's good to go now one more thing is again hero text and then button and if someone hover on that button its background color will set to brown and uh, I think the color should be same I think it's, it's good once I hover on it now this effect is okay and as you can see here we finished our okay one more thing I think so okay now one more thing that we created our uh, the these two items and uh, it's looking perfectly that grade that I want to set yeah it's perfectly fine and mm -hmm. now what else I can do here okay actually I am uh, thinking also uh, with uh, once I'm writing the code I'm thinking so you should also think so this is our banner is completed I can name it as a banner here and my banner is finished here and there is a content section now I think so what is inside the inside uh, content so here is a pill here is image here is the text and who we are is uh, something like heading type so first of all I'm going to set a main tag and set it a class to content and inside this content I'm going to make different sections actually So I'm going to select a section here with a clause of you can say about and uh, if I enter it now one more clause is section also or we will make different classes by the passage of time once we require those classes now I'm going to put the h3 here and uh, h3 has a clause that uh, section heading you can see heading you can change your name whatever you want you, you can change your classes names whatever you want but I am preferring doing the work in this way it will make your code much shorter and reliable to read and understand what is happening there okay and the next thing that I can say is putting a span here of about control Z about us yeah and if I refresh it here it will something looks like this and I will style it here so first of all I'm going to style it so our banner is completed uh, now this is the power and now we are going to set the content here and change the content sections so change inside the content I'm going to give uh, another heading of section about us so it will remind me that this section is for about us okay 
so what could I do and actually it's very simple and you can also create it so what can I do to style my heading first of all I'm going to style my heading by putting by going here and set that section section dash heading and set its text align to center once I uh, refresh here now this about us is in center and it's perfectly nice looking good and uh, the next thing that you can see is you can give a padding here from top left to bottom everything and now this about has is has a padding of 10 pixel now the next thing that you can do is you can target dot section heading span actually why i'm using this this is section heading and this is span so i'm going to select this span and set its background color to rgb one for one one for one and uh, one nine nine and two zero nine maybe it's enough and once I refresh they can see the background color is changed and uh, as you can they think that how he is remembering the, this uh, color these colors actually I'm not remembering it I wrote it myself and I'm just writing those uh, colors from the code that I have so this is the way most programmers mm, de uh, design their websites or the design their tutorials now the next thing that I can set is I'm going to set as a padding here and I'm going to set the padding from top and bottom to 5 pixel and left and right to 10 pixel and once I refresh it something looks great looks changing nice effect now the next thing that I can set is text align and I think it we, we don't have to use text align to center but you can use it to text align to center but I'm not using it here border radius is another thing that it will make your borders corners smooth I change its radius actually it will give a circle effect like this one and you can change the border radius pixels whatever you want the more uh, if you give the more uh, you can say that big integer value so the more uh, corners will be rounded or so I'm using only 15 pixels here set its border radius to 15 pixel so it will apply something looks like this and one more thing that and that is I sh am going to use a color here and color is again RGB color and uh, 33 and then 61 and then last one is 153 153 and once I refresh it here now it's again looks like something this one so we created a pill the, our pill is completed you can just remove it from here inside this content section you can write pills okay so this is the way to organize your code of CSS and HTML now now inside uh, we are going to change it here 
um, inside this div I'm going to use an other div with a class of intro whatever you want you can because as you can see it in my where is my pointer yeah as you can see this is a, a div here with a uh, you can say that with a heading which is small heading this is a small and this is, you can say this is a same thing here this image is something here oh, why you are using wow okay how can I fix this? how can I not fix I how can I fix this problem so if you want to fix your problems you can fix them so now this is my intro and uh, I can say that inside this intro I'm going to set a heading for at who we are okay with a question mark once I refresh okay here I have to refresh once I refresh you can see who we are is appeared now the next thing that I can set here is a padding so I'm going to set a padding here with a class of text dash justify I'm going to copy this class from here and I'm going to uh, you can say that here also control V and typography so text align to justify that's it once I refresh nothing is changed because I have to give a paragraph here so I'm going uh, dummy paragraph or you can say 30 pics 30 words once I refresh you can see it's here but it's totally fine now I think so I have less than this one okay it's very nice okay so this is our intro section completed now outside from my intro section I'm going to select another div with a class here and uh, you can say that this image is of about section this is a class my this is my class and then i'm going to put an image here with dot slash inside this image inside this about i said you can say about two and once i refresh it here it something looks like this and it's image it, this image is very big so we are going to set its width also and I'm going to set it like about as image and going to give it a class you can say that uh, flip image is actually I'm going to, I will make that this how this image is flipping once I summon hover on it so we will make it clearly understandable okay now that I'm going to style my images so how can I style the images and it's really very simple you can style your images very easily so this is my image about section I'm going to copy it from here and not here remove this from here 
and where is my section about us yeah here it is I'm going to paste it here this is my image about and I want to style this image about and I'm going to set its image the image that is coming in image about container I'm going to target this image about con uh, container and set its width to 50 percent or whatever you want but I'm not using it 50 percent I'm going to put it 100 percent and once I refresh it looks like this and it is now 100 percent this image is 100 percent of what or oh, this image is 100 percent of this the body container so actually it will take the width of the parent container so I have to give the class of parent container uh, I have to give the width to my parent container also so I'm going to select again image about not I, I, I can use it I have to use it multiple times so I can say that uh, whatever I want width dash 45 per so, and set a width here to 45 percent or dollar sign percent now it's fine and I'm going here write it here like dash 45 per and once I refresh now this image is actually looks like this one a smaller image yeah that's great okay now I want to align it in one row how can I fix this problem it's very simple and one more thing that uh, as you know, know that one we ha once we have to align uh, items that is top on or top on each of other how I can align it in the front of each other in one line it's very simple I can use it by flex that's why I'm just wrapping it in this whole disk div so I am going to display it as flex sorry for this okay now if I refresh it here now you can see this image is here and this container is here that's great and again I'm going to I'm going here and set the width also here to 45 percent once I refresh now uh, this image and this text it looks like something this and I have to increase my lorem to 20 more words yeah it's good okay now it's looking nice but this is on the top and this not that fine so how can I fix this problem you can fix this problem by aligning this up I'm going to align it align items to center once I refresh now this is in center but you can see the text is very close to its left and the image is not very close to its right so how can I fix this problem it's very simple that's why I'm preferring flexbox you have to just use justify content set it to around and once I refresh you can see a very nice change and that is looking good okay now one more thing is I have to give a section also and uh, I'm going to just select this section here from here and uh, Here I'm going to write another comment that section global properties. So this will this class will apply on all uh, divs. Okay. So I'm going to select the section element and uh, I can say that what I can say I can say that padding from top and bottom to 30 pixels and left and right to 0 now this about as well something looking at a part of this one and it is looking very nice in fact it's good it's enough for now okay what else there are much more things that you can do 
So the other thing that flip flipping of an image. So how can we make this image flippable flippable? So for this purpose, where is my image actually? This is about image image. And I think so that I give a class it also flip image. So I'm just copying it from here again and then again I'm going to put put it here flip image with a transition property of 0.2 second that means it's 200 millisecond maybe okay now the next thing or you can set it 0.3 so it will make it more uh, smoother now the next thing that I can set is dot flip image and that image that is coming inside that flip image no 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 sorry 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 uh, I actually this flip image is actually a tag oh it's actually a class that is applied on the image tag so it's totally fine we don't have to write it in this way so flip image hover once someone hover on that image it's transform itself transform to transform to scale maybe scale x in x direction that is horizontal to minus one so it will remove and yeah if i refresh now if i hover on it you can see how it is looking it's looking very nice so this is our about section is completed yeah, as you can see it here one more thing that there is a, a little bit dark color than this one so we can fix it it's very simple this is my about section and I'm going to give it a beige light dark and once I refresh sorry once I refresh it here so you can see that dark color also okay so this is our about section that is completed here inside the main tag now again i'm going to put an again action section dot and but this time with different class and this time i'm going to put it with services so services is my class and uh, you can put a section here so it will give it a give you a padding from its top and bottom to maybe whatever what i give it here mm -hmm. yeah 30 pixel from top and bottom you can increase it but it's totally fine so section services section now the next thing that i can set is h3 from here so actually I can copy this whole line control C I can paste it here and just change the content that is inside of it services only and once I refresh you can see the services is applying here it's looking very nice again I'm going to select a div inside the div I'm going to use another div I know I know this is very uh, you can say with very misconception so inside this div I'm again going to put a div now what is gonna do actually this div is actually is a parent of these three this this div and this div uh, sorry and this div is a parent of this div so it's very child div and actually this child div is our uh, you can see is our box and one way and why we am going uh, giving it a div to all of this and uh, i am wrapping it here because i am going to apply the css property in it so it, it uh, i can make it very it looks great so for this purpose I'm going to get a class of box and I will style it in the box way. So I can set that cold coffee.
and then you can see that t not t t and you can say that hot coffee okay now once i refresh it here it something looks like this and i know i will change it so just i'm going to copy it from here two times more and uh, refresh it here so it will something looks like this and it's totally fine for now now what i can do i'm going to give it a class of display dash flex now it is coming in top of each other in front of each other with a justify content justify dash content dash center sorry for <laughs> yeah but it looks like this i don't want and i don't want to make it look like this i want to set it uh, between maybe it's good once i refresh now it's looking like this yeah it's correct and it looks uh, the same that i want here now i'm going to select the box one copy it from here and uh, i can make another section over here dot not here yeah uh, section of services and inside here i'm selecting the box one box is actually these are all of my boxes so what can i do with my box so first of all i'm going to give it a border here of one pixel solid or you can say orange yeah now the next thing that i can give it a margin margin is from top and bottom to 10 pixel and left and right to zero and once i refresh it looks like this and it's looking good and you can say that from left and right are also three pixel yeah because i just want a little bit space from here and here also now it's looking good perfectly fine what else can i do is giving it a padding padding of 20 pixel from top and bottom and zero pixel from left and right so it looks like this yeah that's that's great now what i can do is give it a width set it to 50 percent maybe okay 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 okay. i don't have to use it 50 percent okay i can change its width also to 100 or 200 pixel maybe or 200 pixel is yeah it's good it's good to go and then the last thing is text align to center and that's it one more thing text transform to uppercase that's it and if someone hover on the box it's actually change its color no it change its background color to orange that's it so once you hover on it it is looking like this yeah that's great so our services section is also completed now in outside of it outside of this section i'm going to create another section section with uh, you can say the next section is here is our contact a, a section okay so we are going to make a contact 
and you know that you have to give a section uh, tag so it will provide padding top and bottom for 30 pixel so the next thing that I'm going here I'm doing is I'm going to set a section and I'm going to put a BG here also BG dash light dark and once you refresh okay nothing is changed but it, yeah, it is changed this background color is changed now the next thing that I can do here is actually first of all I'm going to copy it from here actually this is my pill so I'm going to copy this pill from here paste it here and refresh it again and then just change the content inside of it to contact us once you refresh it looks like this and it's looking very nice good good to go now I'm going to put a div here and inside the this div I'm you can say that inside this div what can I do else mm -hmm. first of all think a little bit I should use a div or should I use simple form here yeah I can use simple form here and inside this form I can put the input here and the input uh, that I'm putting it here is should be the type of email and uh, I can use it required and uh, what else that I can do mm, think a little bit in your mind okay you can use a placeholder and what is a placeholder you can see it here subscribe us by entering e email okay so we are going to use a placeholder of subscribe us by entering a placeholder uh, uh, entering email and if I refresh it looks something like this it's totally fine we are going to we are going to style it change its class to uh, what can I do a class form handle form container you can say so this is my class why actually I'm not targeting direct uh, class uh, direct uh, you can say that uh, tra what I want to say yeah you can say that uh, why I'm not targeting uh, the elements that like something like ul or you can use img oh, why i'm not using in this way because if uh, you uh, put any component from this site in your own production in your own website so it will affect so if i use a class here and uh, that class that you don't use in your other documents so it won't affect your site so it will be fine so that's why I'm using classes so you can easily copy the code from here and write it down so first of all this is my form container and uh, you can say that I'm going to style it so first of all I'm checking my form container form container I hope I wish this spellings are same as here yeah the spellings are same actually and um, then I'm going to style it so it's very simple first of all I'm going to put a width of 100% now I'm going to select my font input and then I'm going to put a width here to 25% if I refresh it looks like this so this 25% is taken of 
by the form containers width so percentage is actually works like uh, uh, it actually takes the percent of its parent container so its parent container is form container the input parent container is form container so i'm putting a form container to 100 percent if i change it to you can say if i change it to 60 percent so this 25 percent is actually that 25 percent is of 60 percent so the this 25 percent will be uh, the percentage of this 60 percent so if i refresh it should look like this so i'm just putting it 100 now that's that's great one more thing that i can use is text align and set it to center and if i refresh here is this thing okay now you can set its background color to transparent and uh, you can set that I think so that we don't have to give it background transparent it should not it won't look straight okay what can I do what can I do next I can give a hi height here also to 30 pixel if I refresh no it's good and uh, what else I can do mm -hmm. you can see that there is no space between this uh, input box and this pill for this purpose i'm going to give it the margin of top and bottom to 10 pixel and left and right to zero and once you refresh it it looks it here's a space between this okay that's great that's fine that's totally looking beautiful and one more thing that i can do is i can place a button here with you can say what is the styling of uh, this button it's a subscribe once you hover it's changes color okay i can also make this subscribe yeah now i'm going to select this input uh, select this button so how can i do this it's very simple form container uh, button okay so why i'm putting it here this should be gone in the co uh, contact server section sorry contact section sorry sorry, sorry. control v yeah it's fine okay what can i do with this actually why i'm just pasting it over here actually the, because uh, you can say that uh, i want to make it organized so i can read it easily clearly what is happening what is going on so first of all i'm going to select its background color and set it transparent and uh, then I can set that border to one pixel solid purple maybe a yeah, slight blue and uh, padding from top and bottom to six pixel maybe is enough and left and right to ten pixel let me show you first how it is looking so it looks like the perfect very perfect one more thing is cursor also to pointer and outline set to none because someone is, is click on it it's actually okay, okay if right now this button is not clickable because we have to fill this but we should use our always outline to none so the little bit border that is coming outside of the border mm, will remove and uh, that's enough but uh, i want to uh, actually i want to hover on the button so i can change its property like background color and set it to slate blue and then color 
and I'm going to change its color to white if I refresh now once I hover on it now this effect is completed now it's looking perfectly perfectly great so our contact section is also completed and I think so we are very close to our maybe we are we are going to make our last section this is our footer yeah that's great we am um, we are going to use a footer here it's attack why I'm using a footer because it will provide you a semantic meaning that here is our footer started so I'm going to get a class of footer and section also so it will give a padding from top and bottom to 30 pixel okay I want to refresh it here so here is my and I'm going to select it up so first of all I'm going to use a div here and inside this div I am going to use the address tag and inside this address tag you can use the h3 of coffee beans as you see here is our coffee beans so I put it here once I refresh it looks like this okay now let me just copy paste this content actually uh, yeah and paste it here oh wow and then just I'm going to put a break and also a break here so if I refresh it looks like this now it's looking very easy good good to go and this is uh, and, uh, next thing and I'm going to copy it from here and uh, inside a div or you can say with a class of copy right just paste it, paste it here and you can see this is uh, our C actually is coming and I'm going to remove it from here and I will tell you the shortcut for it is just using the copy and this wow that is the problem okay and now I'm going to copy and you can see this is a copy here okay once I refresh this is our coffee beans the best taste you can agree copyright okay br here and once I refresh yeah it's perfectly fine it is in center I can use a text center here refresh yeah it's good but wait a minute let me move it first first of all I'm going to put a div here with a class mm -hmm. display flex and once I refresh now it is in one line align items the center so it is in center and justify content set it to around it is around and text in center now it looks like that that here it is it's totally fine and it looks very nice great effect yeah so we created this simple beautiful look very nice effect but here is one more thing but if I if I scroll it down the background is also moving and it's not looking that good that here is that if I move the my uh, 
content its background is like fixed in its uh, position is like very fixed here so where is my background image this is my hero image and I set its background attachment to fixed and once I refresh here and now you can see if I re check it here you can see how it's looking it's uh, completed this is our very basic website that we just created with scratch with zero zero knowledge so this is actually you can say this is our zero level is started so this is our zero level in CSS I will make you the expert so you can understand each and every layout system and you can make it very simple very easily each and any any kind of layout just using flex you don't have to use grids because grids are actually very easy to understand and you can make very complex layouts with grid but with flex you can also make very complex layouts uh, but uh, uh, for grid system i do not prefer to use grids uh, in scratch css scratch css i will prefer to use bootstrap for grid system because bootstrap will provide you very enough opportunity to write to make to use built-in components of it so it will provide you a very easy functionality and uh, it's actually a framework of jquery javascript and css so it's a combination and you will pro it will provide you everything that you want so you don't have to code too much in there so after completing the css series i will cover the bootstrap also and we will cover each and everything each and every, from each and every aspect of our website so this is our very uh, basic topic or basic you can see this is our very basic project that we just created and uh, if you like this video you can comment me down that you will like this video and uh, this is very beautiful looking and i love this this layout yeah this look this looks very pr pretty good for beginners but in advance we will uh, make more different difficult kind of you can say that difficult kind of uh, models layouts of our website and make those websites responsive also but uh, for now uh, this is enough for beginners and i hope uh, you should watch this whole tutorial and then just close this tutorial don't watch it again try to make it the it, this website and uh, if you uh, want if you uh, trying and you are not uh, getting any concept clear you can ask me by comment you can ask me the phone number that I gave you here okay or anything else so this is a, a completed complete tutorial and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and today is Eid Eid al Fitr and uh, I'm making this tutorial in midnight so thanks for watching and I hope you will support me guys so Allah Hafiz